Hi, who are you and uh, where are you from? Hi, I'm Stephen Tangway from Searsport, Maine. And uh, uh, you own a business here? Yes, my wife and I and our family uh, created a campground about 30 years ago. So this is our 28th, 29th season. We're just finishing up and it's November 2nd, 2022. And uh, how have you seen climate uh changes since you were younger? Well, here on, on the Gulf of Maine, it's probably some of the fastest changing saltwater body in the world, uh, the Gulf of Maine is. And um, my grand, well, my friend's grandfather was an ice cutter. He used to cut ice right out here on the bay. This is Penobscot Bay. This is the head of Pen uh, Gulf of Maine. Uh, we haven't seen ice in a long time, however. Uh, we are seeing um, a healthier bay in the sense that uh, we have more uh, feeder fish. We see a lot of little bait fish in the intertidal zone, different fish than we've seen before. Uh, but it is much warmer. I've gardened all my life, and I can tell you that by third week of September, we always had a pretty heavy frost. That's why we have our, our agricultural fairs in September. Now my garden is still pickable. I'm picking peas, snow peas, Swiss chard, kale, and it survived this. So we have a much longer growing season, which is uh, great if you love to garden, but it's a little scary. Wow. And uh, any other changes recently? Uh... Well, uh, what we're about, seeing, go ahead. Well, we're seeing different uh, insects, um, seeing different birds, a uh, few more red squirrels, definitely more invasive uh, plants, uh, you know, uh, land plant. And we're, I don't know if this is climate related or not, but we've had a big crash in our mussel population and um, our I do a lot of um, clam digging. The shells on our clams, at least in this area, have become softer and they're easily more breakable or they're, they are more breakable. So we're being, uh, you have to be a little more careful when you dig for the steamer clams. Wow. Now, what do you see coming for the future? Do you think more of the same or, uh, and is there anything we can do about it? Well, big question. Uh, the trend here is that the state is preparing, the farmers in the state are preparing for irrigation. And we've never had that discussion before in that we're looking at considered, and many farmers are considering that we may have longer dry spells, which has never been an issue in the state of Maine that I'm aware of. So um, many people are talking about irrigation in the future of their farmland. Um, other changes here, we've had uh, more sharks visiting the waters of southern Maine. That's a very new thing. We haven't had any sharks up here in Penobscot Bay, at least the head of the bay. But in the southern part of the bay, I believe we have. Uh, so we're seeing it, uh, some different fish come to the bay as well. Uh, are you doing anything or do you think uh, we should be doing anything more uh, from the government level or what do you think uh, can be done about this or do we all have to just adapt? Well, this, this, this state, the state of Maine, is one of the most forested states in the country. Um, if you take a walk around the campground here, we have one of the largest old oak groves along the coast of Maine. So we're trying to do our part as far as uh, tree foliage, uh, we we harvest a lot of seaweed. That's how we feed our gardens and uh, just try to live kind of smart like our grandparents and great-grandparents did. 
And do you think that the federal government and the UN or any like anybody that should do more about this? Uh, the UN, the reason I mentioned the UN, they could declared it a climate crisis. Um, but uh, well, but first, anything that the, 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 the government can do or cooperative well, governments first, around the world? Maybe. Yeah, I, I don't know, except uh, to get involved with the Amazon, uh, with the president of Brazil and um, maybe slow down the defoliation of the Amazon rainforest. Very first good. starter. Very good. Well, thank you very much for this. And uh, we are here on uh, what town is nearby here? So we have Searsport, okay. and, um, Belfast is just south of us, across the bay is um, Maine Maritime Academy, right. and uh, this is the island of Islesboro right here. Well, this is amazing. Thank you very much for all, all everything you said. Thank you. Yeah, you're very welcome.